Hi guys. Thanks for joining me again. For the past 11 weeks, we talked in person and then in these videos about different sections of the Bible and what we could learn from them. It was a lot of information to take in that happened over a lot of time. When we started the series, we started learning the names of the 66 books of the Bible together. And I know that most of you thought that you couldn't do it, but I know that you can. You guys have an amazing capacity for learning. And just because this is our last lesson in this series doesn't mean you should give up on learning the names. Keep working at it, and I know you can do it. Of course, knowing the names of the books isn't nearly as important as knowing what the books say. Knowing the books by name and where to find them will help you be a better student of the Bible. The more you read them, the better you'll know what the Bible has to say. You see, the Bible is our roadmap to heaven. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that every scripture is from God to train us to live God's way. It points us to Jesus, and it helps show us the way we need to travel to get to him. If we follow Jesus and obey him, not only will we get to heaven, but other people will see Jesus in us and follow him too. You're probably asking yourself how someone can see Jesus inside of you. Well, it's through your words, it's through your actions, it's through the look on your face when you don't like what mom says what's for dinner but you know you have to eat it anyway. It's taking a break from your video game to help your little sister draw a cat because she really wants a cat in her picture but she can't draw one herself. Or telling your brother a good job instead of bragging when you beat him in Uno. It's listening to your cousin's story and not interrupting even though you don't actually care what they're talking about but they were so excited to tell you. Showing Jesus means that we are humble, we think of others, and we love like he did. And that's not always easy. So not only is the Bible our roadmap, but the more we read it, the more we can use it to reach other people too. And I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty amazing. Our devotion reading for this week is Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 through 11. The questions are, what did Jesus do to save us from our sins? How can we be saved from our sins? And do you have the mindset of Christ? Take the time to discuss those as a family. That last question isn't there to make you feel bad. We all have struggles in that area, especially right now when things are so different and hard. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for all of these families. Thank you for helping us when we struggle. Thank you for providing us with a roadmap for our lives. Help us to grow in our faith. Help us to stay in our mindset like you. Just be with us. Keep us safe, happy, and healthy in your name, Lord. Amen. Since this is the last lesson in this series, I'm so excited to close this video by introducing our next series. It's called I'm Crafted. The graphic on the screen kind of gives you a clue as to what it's about. It has a little bit of a Minecraft vibe to it. I'm really excited for it. Something this series has that our last one didn't is object lessons. So I'll get to pull random things from around my house to help me teach to you guys. So that should be pretty fun. So I'll see you next week for lesson number one. Bye guys.